Hello, everyone. No, your eyes do not deceive you. The brightness has been turned down quite a bit. Because today, I am not so much taking on a challenge as so much I am trying out a mode. This was suggested by Gary1717 once again, and for the most part, it's basically just a dark mode. So as I try to accomplish it, the dark mode has some rules behind it. To begin with, there is no power on in the house, nor will there be any power at all for the duration of this playthrough. On top of that, I cannot use a flashlight, I can't use my night vision goggles, and in this instance, I may have to use the grid. Because when we talk about dark, it is dark. I can't see anything. Um, I don't even know where I am. What the heck is this? Uh, okay. Well, I found the EMF sensor, so if I just blindly follow this around, there we go. Sweet. You got a little bit of light. Because, uh, I kid you not, I can't see anything. It's dark in here. I know I've said it before, but this isn't just darkness. This is advanced darkness. Oh, great. Ghost is already moving. Okay. Well, at least uh, orbs and I guess in some sense the ghost writing will be easy to find. Hello. What we got over here? Uh... Where are you? Are you friendly? Inconclusive, but we got two bits of evidence. What the heck was that? Is that the door closing? Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Oh, God. Look, if I step inside here, I can't even see my character anymore. <laughs> Going back to the couch. Anything? Okay. Well, you're a jumpy. At least I got that out of the way first. Me, oh my. I thought I was gonna die. Amazing. Well, that wasn't so bad. I think the only reason why I'm actually able to move around in that area is because of the grid. There wasn't any stipulation that I couldn't use that, so I will bend the rules a little bit. You are technically correct. The best kind of correct. So, moving on, we are going to try out... And I stress try out because it's a nightmare in the apartment with the lights on. I don't even know what I'm going to get into with the lights off. Future goalie here. Past goalie forgot to include the apartment amongst all the other locations that he had done up until this point. It's actually so long ago now that I don't remember the root cause as to why the apartment was not recorded, but I think it may have something to do with the fact that Pascoli never hit the record button. You are made of stupid. So I am here to make up for his mistake. Terrific. Not only do I have to play the apartment, it's a second go around of this where I am in perpetual darkness. Time to have fun feeling my way through here. I swear, I'm I'm already lost. Okay, reference point. That's the door. Now where the heck? That's the grid. Thank goodness I found the grid. Or at least where I'm supposed to put the grid. And where am I supposed to put the EMF? I am just an open target right now. This is not good. Yeah, that's the light. Where the heck is the EMF supposed to go? You know what? Forget it. Change of plans. We're going to be setting up base camp at the end of the hallway here. Well, that was spooky. And while we're at it, we've got our thermometer and our spirit box ready to go. And I'm going to take some bandages because I just have a feeling that I'm not going to have a fun time. Whoa, ah, ah! See what I mean? That came out of nowhere. Like, literally out of nowhere. I, uh, I have a feeling that was Hat Man. So this is going to be one extra spooky experience. Where are you? Oh. Um, listen, pal, I kind of need that. So, uh, if you don't mind, 
rather you don't do that again. I think we can skip the friendly question since we know what you are. Can you do something? Okay. So, we know you're evil. Ooh, we saw that movement across the screen. Or at least the grid. She's Louise. That, uh, that made me jump. Is this guy a talker? I don't think he is. So what could you be? It really doesn't help that I am just stuck in the dark. Like, this is awful. I already had a rude introduction to this map. And now I'm stuck in a corner. I guess we'll give it a little bit and see if this guy does anything. It's more about what he isn't doing, though. We're not seeing any EMF activity, at least not yet. Um, ooh, orbs. Okay. That's one bit of evidence. So, uh... Oh! Oh! Where am I? Oh! Ooh. Did you chuck me across the hallway? Oh no. Uh, I'm getting the heck and heck out of here. <laughs> okay. Uh, man, Pascoli, I hate you right now. You could have had this done already and you could have been editing the video, but no. Dum Dum forgot to hit the record button. Well. About time for me to be hitting the old dusty trail. Okay, so it's one of three ghosts. It could either be a dupey, meaning I need EMF activity. It could be a debuck, meaning I need to see ghost writing. Or it could be a shade, and I need to see temperature readings. Terrific. Fantastic. Well, if I had to hedge my bets on any ghost, I'm going to say it's a debuck. Because I haven't gotten any EMF activity, and I certainly haven't seen any cold spots, so, uh... <laughs> oh, I don't want to do this. This guy's awful already. Just leave me alone. Do something, or I guess don't do something, because if you don't do anything with the thermometer, you don't do anything with the EMF, I think we're, uh, I think we're good. Probably suspect that you are a debuck. No, you were a doopy. Never mind. Well, at least we got that out of the way. Now we'll just pause for a second, make sure we're not running into a trap. And book it! Holy cow, that was, uh... That was unnecessary. But nevertheless, I got the apartment. So, everything should be flowing perfectly now. So, as we move on from what was a little bit of a diversion in the road, we are now going to head to, finally, the forest. Hello? Anybody here? Well, I can't see you, but you can certainly see me. I don't like that. I might just move away for just a little bit. Let me keep my distance, just in case you're really hostile. Speaking of hostility, are you friendly? Oh, oh, oh God. It's like I scripted this. So you're evil and you can talk. Well, say with me, folks. There's two ghosts that fit this criteria. It could either be a spirit, meaning I need to see EMF activity, or... <laughs> it's a demon and I need to see ghost writing. Okay, well, the thermometer's kind of useless, so we're gonna toss that aside. I guess I'm just gonna take some bandages because uh, if it is a demon, this is not gonna be fun. Can you do something? Oh, okay, it was a spirit. Cool. You know what? Spirits are not to be trifled with, but they're not as bad as demons. I can tell you that for free. Nice job. Okay, quick and painless for the most part. After this, we now head to the second creepiest map, or in some cases, the creepiest map. I don't know, they kind of trade off between the apartment and the general store. Nevertheless, we are off to the general store. Uh, 
I'm guessing this is the, the... I guess the railing or the shelving unit. Oh, okay, the grid. Thank goodness. Okay, I can kind of see. Uh, right, and then, yep, the EMF is here. Is that map knowledge there? I'd love it. Okay, I think I'm in my spot. Quote, unquote. Let's just check. Just need a light. Yep, okay, good. At least there's some semblance of safety here. Jeez. There is nothing I can see. What is this? Okay, uh, well... I will say the... Oh, ghost riding. Okay, cool. Caught that right away. At least the darkness was good for something here. Um, let's follow that up with a question. Where are you? Are you friendly? Can you do something? The answer is a big old fat no. Mm. Uh, uh. Cold spot? Okay. Cold spot and ghost writing. Uh, well, I'm gonna have to move back to the board somehow without getting absolutely murdered. We'll just see what this ghost is. Okay, two choices tonight. One of them being a shy, meaning I need to see something evil happen. And then the other option, if I can just kind of shimmy over here with the mouse, is a gelin, and I need to see orbs. I guess I just have to wait and see what happens, or doesn't happen in, in some instances. Okay, if the ghost pushes me, it's a shy. If it really doesn't do anything, it's gelling. So, I guess it's just a waiting game at this point. I will say, though, that this this added a lot more environmental hostile. <laughs> okay. Uh, as I was saying, I guess this added a lot more environmental hostility. Because, uh... While the ghosts were spooky, it's more of the fear of the unknown that was really plaguing my thoughts. If you can't see something and it can see you, that's the worst feeling in the world. It's just, it's just making little moves around me. It's not really doing anything. I mean, at this rate, if he's not doing anything evil, I almost have to assume that it's a gelin. So, I'll give it a little bit. If I get pushed, shy. If I don't, well, we said it before, shall we? Um, I, I could have sworn I saw orbs. I think I saw a warp. Oh, oh, where am I? Oh, okay, well, I, I have to assume that I saw orbs. I swear I did. It wasn't a reflection. I am not crazy. I am running into a wall, though, because I can't ding-dang see. Oh, God, help. I'm stuck. I'm marooned. All right. I think I made another one piece. Most part. Uh, I'm assuming that it is going to be a gel and regardless. I think I saw orbs, but realistically speaking, I did not get pushed. So it is indeed a gel -in. Okie dokie. Well, the dark mode has passed. Thank goodness. Thank you once again to Gary1717 for at least this suggestion, apart from his many others that he had on his list. If you'd like to be like Gary and see your challenge done by yours truly, leave your challenge suggestion in the comments down below. But as for me, guys, I'm going to hop off, take a little bit of a break, and... Uh see what other challenges I can accomplish in Phantom Investigation. I'll see you soon, guys.